I'm getting ready to do the hack and tap here. I've covered the splines in tape to help protect them from sparks or anything going on. And I think what I'm going to do is before hacking, I'm going to use the leftover machining hole as kind of a guide to get my uh, drill to go in. And uh, I got my pilot bit in and it fits nice in this hole. So I'm just going to drill that out a ways down before I cut off that little bit of the hole there. So uh, we're going to start it up, put it in gear, and then I'm going to, it spins counterclockwise and my drill bit spins clockwise. And I'm going to, I'm going to drill that in. I started in neutral so I don't run through the reverse. Okay. Okay. Turn it up. feel like it's drilling at all. Maybe the shape of that's just not getting a bite with the shape of your front of your drill bit. Or this is like super hardened or something. It, and that's a good new drill bit? Brand new. Feel like you haven't gotten a bite into anything, huh? No, I just I don't feel like anything. I mean, yeah, I just don't think it's... I don't think it's drilling here. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this is hardened out here or something. Maybe the whole thing's hardened. It may be all hard to drill. Other people have done it though. Yeah. And I wasn't pushing super hard, but even like I can still see like rust down in there. But you know, stuff can also be surface hardened. Mm -hmm. So if you cut through that bit. So just grins yeah. I don't see any metal flakes coming out no <laughs> all right so I don't think that's gonna work so I think I should hack it okay um, give me my little opportunity to try the drill up there okay and then I'll go ahead and hack it it did just seem like a good way to test your video recording, okay. All right, I'm ready.
through? Yeah. Okay. So if you need it to spin faster, we can also put it in a higher gear. Smooth it off any with the flat disc. Yeah, I think that's a good idea to do next. Well, this piece is smoother and flatter than that one. In fact, it feels real smooth. Yeah. Okay. Well, so I got that. Times look all uh, clean on the end. Yeah, best I can tell from the, you know, having the tape on it. Do you want to try sliding on your... No, would you go get me the flat disc that's sitting up on the countertop there? Because I need to chamfer the edge a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're talking about the sandpaper you put up to us. Yes. Okay. Your drill still down there? Yeah. Are you gonna want it running when you do this? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so we did our hack and tamp. I've chamfered the edge, cleaned up the face. It's nice and smooth. I picked out the splines of grease and everything. And so now I'm gonna get ready to drill the center hole. So I lost my uh, 
um, my guide, my jig for drilling. So I'm gonna use this to mark it. I have uh, a transfer punch and it's just the perfect size to go inside of the, the actual yoke here. So nice and tight. So put the yoke up, put the transfer punch in, then use that to mark where I need to drill. So that went right up nicely. Putting this up in there and actually I'll back it off a little bit so it can guide it a little more. You can see right there, maybe right there, I got a hole marked. So now I'm going to get up. I'll use uh, a center drill to get that started a little bit easier. And then I'll come through with my pilot drill and drill that out. 